that I put forward on this page. Competence-based competitive strategy, you have no idea. We can talk hours and hours and hours just on this page without going anywhere. And if you are in the class without the Zoom, we can go a lot, through a lot of exercise. We can go through the exercise hours and hours. If you're a PhD student, we can go through the exercise to come up with topics for your PhD degree on this page alone. Applications in China, right? Okay, we have uh, a lot of, I have a lot of, uh, I, I supervise uh, cases on, for example, to China uh, rural development. So how China develops their rural and turns the rural revitalizations to benefit the communities and to benefit the countries and so on and so forth. Okay, so we will slowly, slowly uh, move into these directions. Give you a, a very clear example, a very, very simple, a uh, very, very uh, simple example. This is, um, uh, this is, uh, 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 this is uh, a, a very simple example. Uh, 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 wait a second, uh, there is uh, uh, some uh, emails that I have. To, uh, Okay, this is something very simple and uh, that I hope that you have already noted, okay, from your human resource class, human resource management, from your organization development class, OT class, or from your whichever class. But this is something so, so straightforward and so simple. And, 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 and so, and, and it describes the core uh, characteristics and core contents of, uh, of the competency, competency, at least at the task level, okay? Task level, you're doing something, right? You're doing something, okay? Uh, doing something. And, and, and this task could be your financial planning, it could be your strategic planning, it could be your product development, it could be your process development, it could be your, your community development, it could be your, your uh, uh, networking design, it could be your uh, applications uh, development, it could be your offline to online platform development, it could be a research project development, and, 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 and whichever you do, whether at this task level or at the business models level or at the uh, national in, in level, you know, different hierarchy, it always deals with three important, important components of a competency, which we call knowledge, attitude, and skill. Knowledge, attitude, and skill. If you, do you have the knowledge to deal with your issue? Do you have the knowledge to deal with an issue? Do you have the, the attitude to deal with that issue? Are you going to deal with it in this direction or in that direction or in this direction or in this direction or by twisting or by pushing in or by pulling out or by this, this or, or consistently and you know trying to make it happen? Attitude, 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 attitude. And 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 uh, and also and the, the other thing it's about uh, even though you have the knowledge and you you have the attitude, if you do not take action, it stay it stay where where it is. Nothing happened. Hello. The organization, the business goes. No way, it, it stops. Everybody talking, brainstorming. I yes, yes, this, 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 this. Nothing happened on papers. So you got to have what? You got to have skill. You got to do it, engage, active engagement. You got to flow with the time. You got to do it, do it, do it, do it. I've done it, I've done it. I can, I know you can. You have enough knowledge and I know you will do it. You have good attitude, but have you done it? Have you done it? Have your organizers done it? Do you have the money to do it? Investment. Do you have the people to help you do it? Do you have the technology to do it? 
Okay, so this is very important. Creating our bond is linked to the amount of time a person is actively engaged in creative domain. And, and, and I mentioned about creativity because when you actually use your knowledge and use your attitude and, and put into chemistry reaction, and, 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 and it, uh, it, uh, it, it, you need creativity, creativity, innovation, so that it can generate different roads, different activity, different, different processes, different ideas, different, different things, you know? Uh, and, and you have so much knowledge. Why don't you use this knowledge combinations with another knowledge? Why don't you use something from here and something from there and, and put the knowledge and uh, you know, different knowledge interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary knowledge together in combinations, plus your you know, different kind of attitudes and, and turn into skill. That is called innovation. Okay, so you have the nature of the reality you have nature reality, you know your current state of uh, situation, nature the reality, your current strength, your current weaknesses, your current opportunity, your current threat in the world, in your industry, your, your future threat, your future opportunity, your future strength that you need, the future uh, weaknesses that you probably would have comparison to the trend of technology. So the nature of reality, if you know about it, have you gone into the detail? Every single word. You have to really use your competency brain and strategic, make strategic strategy, make it focus, make it clear. That can return, return, that can return, 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 return on investment. And return investment come from where? Come from your competitive advantage that you can sustain for a long time. So cash flow coming in for a long period of time, that your ability to compete in the world, competitiveness. So you have to have, you have the input, you have the process, you have the output. So this is your input, your goal, where, which, your, which is your vision, where is your direction, where is your objective, where is your mission, okay? And what is your expectation? What is your expectation? Do you want to just reach out to one market or you want to reach out to multi-dimensional market? Do you want to reach out to global market? Do you want to export it or you want to be a global company or you want to be just an international company or you want to be a diversified company or you want to be concentrated, uh, a concentration driven com diversified company? or you want to use affiliations, or you want to license it, what is your expectation? So again, project that I'm giving to you, you have to think, you have to challenge yourself. And I, and, and I, I cannot, it is not my job to teach you how to challenge. And that means it is my work. No, it is not my work. It is your work. And so I give you all the flexibility. Okay. And as long as you are minimally meet the requirement, focus, focus, input, process, output, input, process, output. I give you a problem, which is the input. You have to go through your knowledge, attitude, skill process, and you got to generate an output. You have to deliver this page to, for me to give you an A in the class or minimally a B in the class. So what about this page? This page, is it important? Have you seen this page working in your team management? Have you seen this page? Are you seeing this page working for making a company's competitive? Have you seen, are you seeing this page able to make you get you A in the class? Have you used this page continuously since your first year in the university? And if not, well, this is why you're not sustaining a competitive advantage. And this is why, and this is why you have this grade. And that doesn't matter, the past is the past. Start from to dance again, right? So no matter my students attending my class, 100 students attending my class, some of the students, some of the classes are huge class, huge classes, couple of hundred. 
and I, I, I try all the best to give you the best knowledge that I dedicated, that I accumulated from my experience in the industries and, and academy. But again, I hope that you really benefit because the more, and, and the small classes is supposed to get the benefit because everybody uh, can pay attention. If you're not coming to the class, I know who else is not coming to the class. And if you come to the, uh, if it's a big classes, then that is a different story, different program. You know, many people will be missing. So this page is very, very important. And if you really understand this page, you really have masters the competency uh, competencies criteria. You understand You understand how you develop the competence. How you develop the competency? You got to develop certain knowledge, attitudes, and skills. Is it sufficient? No, it's not sufficient because without your natural reality, without your expectations, without a good gun, you can't develop your competency. And if you're going through without a direction, and if you're doing, if you do it without, uh, you know, a strong to, uh, investment, and you are not able to deliver the output, everybody go through the same process, but everybody come up with a different output, which means you're not able to sustain the competitive advantage of your organization in the industries or in the market, and you are do not you do not have the organizational competitiveness that allows you to move forward into the future. Okay, so this is very, very important. I give you a couple of examples on knowledge again, and I give you a couple of examples on attitude again. This is only an example. I mean, it could be so many. I'll just give you a couple of examples. Attitude, for example, attitude, entrepreneurial attitude. Tell me, you know, you studied a lot of classes on entrepreneurship and you do a lot of jokes on business model creations and you probably you have attended this comes a couple of competition uh, on, on the projects. Do you have to apply entrepreneurial attitude to let you win in your project? What kind of entrepreneurial attitudes and orientation that allowed you to win? And if not, that means you're not using your attitude. You're not using the competency. Your competency is lacking of one of the very important ingredients. And you do not know it, you're unconsciously knowing it. So, so conscious development is another competency. Again, we don't have time to go through because this is about spiritual. This is about spiritual competency. This is about conscious, uh, consciousness development. And as we go through international conferences and, and keynote speech, uh, which I uh, have delivered, but otherwise uh, it is no time to talk about it. Attitude, for instance, entrepreneurial attitude, leadership. Have you demonstrate leadership? Is leadership in the attitude in what sense? How you demonstrate? Spiritual competency driven attitude, which I just demonstrated. Skill, diversity of skills, very important because it is true. Diversity of uh, combinations that you are able to deal with uncertainty because the future, the future is uncertain. Today it's COVID 19, tomorrow is another COVID 20, another uh, this and that. So, how are you going to deal with all this uh, issue? You need diversity of skill, we call capability. So, skills has to be reaching up to the capability sense, not in the, you know, not in the cost sense. Oh, only do this, only Excel. I can only do Excel, but I cannot turn the Excel into a software. Can, are you able to do a, turn the Excel into a software or into a, a very customized uh, a, a, a Excel package that allow your company to, analyze the financial uh, uh, portfolios or, or, or performer invoices in, in a very strategic sense, right? So this is very, very important. So we're talking about diversities of skill and you gotta develop that diversity of skill. And I demonstrate a couple of terms which are benefiting for students like you, business administration. Because you are a business student and you are doing jobs in hospitality hotels, you're doing job for tourism, you're doing job for manufacturing, you're doing job for uh, hospitals, you're doing job for uh, uh, real estate. And so we are talking about cognitive in a broader sense. I'm not talking about you know those machinery, CNC machining and the welding and uh, you know laser printings or or the, or pick pick and choose or robotics placement uh, and, and those things you can pick it up. But I'm talking about a broader sense, business sense, cognitive skill. 
your emotional skill, affective skill, which is your emotional skill, behavioral skill, innovation, which is part of the, this combination of cognitive, affective, behavioral, and value adding chain, value chain, which is coming from cognitive, affective, behavior. Are you able to see what I just told you? So it is very, diff very easy for you to get a B in the class, which is a very, very minimum threshold. To get an A, well, you gotta be very sophisticated, but you can get B and B plus, there's no problems, okay? Uh, which is a good GPA for you, three and three point, three point something, three point five, uh, but uh, 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 things like that. Okay, well, knowledge. Uh, there are a lot of knowledge. Everything that you study in the class is about knowledge. Uh, okay, so we're talking about entrepreneurship knowledge, competence knowledge, and uh, competence is also knowledge, that, all right? This whole thing, input process, output is a knowledge. No, no textbook that I have ever read put into the structure of your human resource developments and human resource managements and competency developments and strategic uh, competitive strategy in this particular simple set. So the whole class can be this, this page. Or we can just stop here and let everybody's, uh, you know, uh, uh, continue and work on projects and graduate from, uh, uh, with, from, from this class. It's no problem. Every page, if you focus on that, on that, it, that means you're, you're, you're competent. It's, you know, the rest is all knowledge and you can Google, right? But again, if you Google, are you, are you able to understand, right? You, just, you still come to, you still need uh, uh, the, uh, uh, okay. Oh, wait a second. And uh, it's, uh, somebody's, uh, Okay, so, uh, uh, so sorry for that. Uh, this is, uh, uh, so the ability to master at the right time to foresee the future uncertainty. Uh, you see, this is, uh,
Okay. To, uh, any questions on this page? So try to try to uh, uh, focus on on this uh, on this page. Okay, it is uh, very very important. And so we call this page uh, the skills, attitudes, and knowledge the triangle of success. Okay, in in the in every single industries that you will go in. Okay, but you have to. Any question? Uh, <laughs> อ่าทําไมอ่ะครับประเด็นประเด็นอยู่ตรงนี้ที่ว่าเพราะว่ากลัวว่า uh, okay i will speak a little bit of times because กลัวว่าเอ่อจริงๆเนี่ยภาษาภาษาไทยนี่เราความจะต้องเอ่อภาษาอังกฤษนี่เราความจะต้องต้องต้องต้องคอมพิวเตอร์นะนะเพราะว
the competency is very simple. Input, process, output. Input, process, output. Input, process, output. Input, process, output. And of course, the environment. Okay, you, you input process is within the environment. And now we're talking about network. We are not talking about value chain. We're talking about uh, network, right? Right, network, network, okay? Because of digital, digitization, everything is signal, data, right? right? And then so, so when you do something, when I key something, it sends the signal to other places. And then the supplier take my signal and do, 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 and then produce, uh, and then uh, maybe the supplier do not know and the computer read my signal and then send the signal to the computers, uh, to the computer system or to the craft system. Uh, and then and a computer club system, and then the club system, ding, 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 and then find out the production scheduling. Oh, this play, this time, this uh, another day, or you know, another day we have to produce this, did, 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 and then to produce, we are lacking of people, we are lacking of the, we are lacking of raw material, so we have to uh, resource planning, you know, human resource planning. We have to hire more people, we have to train more people. So the computer artificial intelligence, ding, 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 and tell you what to do, and then come up with a plan. Boop, 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 so everything is what? Automatic. Yes or no? This is called competency. Well, I, I, I don't, I, you know, the example is a lot. I don't want to give you, you know, I don't want to give you the, uh, um, you know, in a project, you need to come up with the examples by yourself. And, and if you do not brainstorm and 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 uh, and go to the internet and find out all the details and find out the real examples and sophisticated companies and example you have no idea and brainstorming is not sufficient if your knowledge is not sufficient brainstorming is not sufficient okay knowledge my brainstorming my die let me bring you okay knowledge determines your brainstorming outcome so even though you have a good attitude, but if you have insufficient knowledge, you cannot produce brainstorming skill in, in a very creative manner. So, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, so uh, the one I'm talking to you, computerized, this is already happening. This is getting more and more and more. In the past, when I was vice president helping the companies on enterprise resource planning, you know the 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 the, uh, the 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 those computerized system. We have to do a lot of programmings and you know do this do this and then the, you know whatever you do and then we go to the factories and we can have the uh, can gadget uh, in forms and and if you do want to do that you can use the sensors to uh, transfer the signals to your computer and a computer will sense the signal to control the machine. Okay, so it's a, it's a very simple process, right? Okay, so for those people who join in because of the, uh, because of the, uh, uh, because of the uh, late uh, registrations, uh, so I, I uh, do not need to worry, okay? I have already, you can talk to your friends. I will update the list of the, first of the students list who are in this class so you can talk to each other. Okay, I do. Uh, we already have a group of four, and uh, because there's no examination, so and I hope that the two the projects minimum requirements. If you can meet the minimum requirements, you get a B in the class. And uh, and uh, and and uh, but to get an A, it's ninety percent. It's very very uh, difficult because you have to do something that is uh, that differentiate yourselves out of the uh, out of the crowd. Uh, just like the companies like Microsoft, uh, Apple, to, um, uh, you know, uh, that uh, turns iPhones or iPad to be the competitive niche in the world. I mean, not the niche, but in the mass niche, okay, uh, in the world. And and uh, and so to get A, you gotta differentiate yourselves very uniquely, okay. And uh, and then uh, we have discussed a couple of pages, and every page we spend a lot of time. And then we come to uh, this page, which talks about our three very important components of the of the competencies, which is near dealing with knowledge, attitude, and skill. And I uh, demonstrated that uh, knowledge is I can. 
uh, and the attitude is I will, and then but you I can and I will is not sufficient to move you to the uh, you know to a competitive advantage to win the companies uh, uh, in the market. You have to have I've done it, which is the skill, and to do to do that you got to do active engagement, uh, pulling everybody's with the uh, with the cultures, environments, and everybody's like it, and then the, everybody go forward, you know, with the rewards, and you know you pump in all the reward. If you if you say you can, and if you do it. Uh, uh, and you demonstrate good attitude, which is the culture, and I will give you the, you know, the salary increase and, and promotion, and so that you will, you know, so that you have the motivations and things like that. So the, and the nature of the reality in terms of your current and the future strength, weaknesses, opportunity and threat, expectations and goal, vision, mission, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, those inputs requirements will lead you to the process of, of creating and developing knowledge, attitudes and skills, which uh, do it again, again, you become your competency and uh, with the diversities of skill, it becomes your capability to deal with uncertainty in the future. And at the same time, creating a competitive advantage that is sustainable Okay, and there are a lot of examples on knowledge and a lot of examples on skill, a lot of examples on, on attitudes. I'm just giving you a couple of examples. Uh, and you can look into, for example, entrepreneurial attitude, leaderships, and spirituality. And uh, you know, you can basically spend times and years and years talking about these three people doing PhD degrees on these three. And 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 uh, so things like that. I've just given a couple of examples on entrepreneurial activity. You guys have gone through a lot of competitions, projects, and things like that. But have you really uh, understood? And have you really utilized attitude in which part of your innovation? And and did you see the attitudes working and and playing to role in your business model creation? And if not. That means you have not really used the attitude. You have not really mastered the competency. You have not really making use of your potentials of your company. You have not really making use of resources of your company. Sapayakon, right? resources of your company. So, so it, you know, you have a lot of resources of a company, but did you really do it? Have you really utilized it? This is this is this is very important. Input process output and it, within an environment, within an environment, 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 right? Internal environment we call culture. The process, the processes is also could be your culture, right? Your uh, uh, ISO 9001 management system is also could be your 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 environment, okay? And and the environment of the market, environment of the of the labor workforce, environment of policy, national policy, environment of the of the industries, the global environment, macro environment, micro environment, meso environment. Okay, so this is the issue that you have to, you have done it. And, and uh, so we call these three internal components, skills, attitude, knowledge as triangle of success. But again, to be successful, it is not sufficient that if you have this three, it's not sufficient for you to be successful. You need the input, you need, uh, you need this three, and you need to work on this three, not this three static in the dynamic sense. Wrote it, wrote it, right? Wrote it, wrote it, wrote it, wrote it, and and then and then create the uh, output, output, output. Okay, create the output and environment, environment, environment. Because chemistry, for example, chemical reaction, it needs environment, temperature, right? Environment, environment. Otherwise, these two chemical reaction, these two cannot cannot chemical reaction. You need a you need the environment, right temperature, right pressure, right. Right, right temperature, right pressure, and and then the and then these two will try to minimize the Gibbs function, you know, entropy Gibbs function, and and then slowly, slowly will achieve the chemical reaction. Otherwise, you will just continue to to uh, uh, you know activate uh, uh, up and down, up and down until it achieves the, uh, the 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 uh, the 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 equilibrium point. Okay, so. Uh, and, and, and innovation is very important. You already seen from the uh, from the from the app, uh, uh, Apple and uh, uh, Steve Jobs query say man is the creators of change in this world. Man is the creator of change uh, in this world. Okay, uh, I'll, let me uh, bear with me. Okay, because uh, because. Um, uh, uh, if I can, f uh, you know, f uh, probably finish within. Uh, another one hour. I try not to go through three hours uh, because uh, uh, usually your memory is not there. Uh, but uh, uh, bear with me for two hours, okay? So I, I, I promised you, okay, uh, by two uh, we go, okay? 
and and uh, so uh, bear with me and 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 uh, takes the opportunity to understand the key concept here okay so that you will learn the 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 way uh, i think uh, as the uh, vice presidents uh, of the previous uh, couple of thousands, uh, uh, six, seven thousands, millions, but uh, uh, probably listed companies and uh, conglomerate uh, technical group, technical managers of 20 billion B, okay? US dollars companies in in, 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 uh, in, in Malaysia, and also uh, as a general managers uh, for Asia Pacific developments into China's and everywhere else, Philippines, Indonesia's and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Thailand's. Uh, say I'm some man industries and things like that. So uh, you know, at least you know what the, a vice presidents or general managers or the uh, you know academicians uh, that I have helped uh, uh, on the robot robotics uh, uh, things like that and uh, and the U.S. Navy uh, submarine propulsion systems and so that you will probably be able to uh, uh, use that thinking uh, uh, concepts to help your your projects development so man is the creator of change in this world if you if you uh if you uh if you look into the if you look into let me show you okay uh you know i i, I let me show you just if i can uh, remember the Let me let me let me capture uh, what uh, uh, what Steve Jobs uh, uh, talk about uh, in uh, in uh, uh, Buddhisms, and so uh, uh, you, you you know I so that you know what I mean, and you know the, uh, you know we can actually apply it in the real world. So uh, I, I, you know I want I want all of you uh, to to study. Uh, uh, and to really understand uh, everything that you learn in the class or in the textbook uh, 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 in a, a, from the practical life perspective, okay? And, and so if you are not able to be, uh, whatever you do, whatever, whatever you do, okay? And if it doesn't uh, connect to your practical life, daily life, It makes no sense. It means that your mind is one thing, your your talking is another thing. and synthetic kid, man, my pangan, right? Your your mind is one thing, and your thinking is another thing. Thinking means your you know your development, your planning, your competency development, or or your behavior, right? Your behavior, your competency, skills, and things like that. And 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 that means what? That means that if it's not aligned, that means every day, the more we talk, the more we act, the more we talk, the more we act, the more we uh, deliver our competency, and this is our mind. And then uh, because these two are, uh, are not uh, in alignment with the mind, so we, we will do a lot of karma, sang wen sang kam. Right? We will do a lot of karma every day, every day, every day. So the more we do, the more we develop our karma, 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 karma. And eventually, what happened? Eventually, what happened? Eventually, what happened? When white tiger again and again and again and again and again in the continuous life. Okay, so where is the life starts? Like Steve Jobs saying, it starts from Sankan, right? Which uh, Sankala means knowledge creates innovation. This knowledge drives our innovation, of course, yeah. that drives the whole life. So, what is Steve Jobs saying? Man is the creator of change in this world. Man is the creator of change in this world. So if you can align, if you can align, 
if you can align the, your creativity and your your mind, okay, and and uh, uh, your innovation uh, uh, together, so you will know that everything every time you do, your mind is very pure. Chit right? Your chit, because you know that whatever you do. Your innovation, sankan, sankala, sankan, innovation, sankan, right? Come from where? Come from your, uh, which means your knowledge. Stupid knowledge creates stupid innovation. So this, uh, 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 I want you to do, and innovation with a direction. As I told you, minimum requirements to get a B in the class, innovation with a, with a mission. So the Facebook mission is to give people the power to share and make the world open, more open and more connected. This mission, this mission, this mission, this mission, expectation, goal, drive the what? Drive the whole creation. Facebook, deliver sustainable competitive advantage. Right, you can see very, very simple, right? Yes or no? Well, you see, no need to, you know, uh, uh, study is, uh, you know, uh, that's why it is not necessary to go to examination. Actually, I hate examination because every time when, when I was in University of Wisconsin and, uh, you know, every time when we have a, a final examinations and uh, a midterm examination, the students always give us some of the articles. Uh, for example, I have a couple of articles from Stanford University, from uh, uh, UC Berkeley's or Caltech or MIT, and they always give us a paper from UC Berkeley, Caltech or MIT or Stanford. And then I say, this is your midterm examinations. One week, take home exam, finish. Tell me the result. <laughs> And, and, so, and, and you know, I, I, I have a, one of the teachers, you know, from Stanford University, uh, and uh, and he was uh, he was a Korean, and he teach me uh, missiles, you know, the missiles control missiles, uh, uh, and 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 and, and uh, it was already very difficult. The whole class of PhD classes in the missiles control, only I get. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure, uh, I'm probably not able to get A, and uh, all the PhD students from China, from U USA, from India, from Japan, I probably is the only ones that get uh, B plus, and the rest all, <laughs> all fail. <laughs> and, and, and the dean has to talk to the, press, the, 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 the teachers that what is going on, all the PhD students disappear, PhD students cannot fail. And, and uh, so, uh, you know, so these uh, 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 innovations with uh, uh, the creativities, you need some very sophisticated knowledge and attitudes and skills. So, you know, this, um, it's very, 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 very important. Okay, it's, uh, uh, you, uh, you gotta have, uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta meet and deliver the competencies, okay, with a mission. The other one is the, uh, the Google. Also, innovations with a mission, innovations, uh, competence, okay? Uh, which, of course, includes attitudes. And I want to let you know uh, what, what, is, what, what is that means. If you look into the Google's mission, uh, which says is to organize the world's information to make it universally accessible and useful, that, that is their, their attitude. That is the attitude. They want every information in the world to get organized. And so you can instantly get it and use it. And they do it again and again, and they demonstrate the ability to do it, knowledge, skill, and attitude. What is that? That is their mission. And what is that? That is the innovation competence. So the mission demonstrate innovation's competence. So, so if you ask me, John, what uh, uh, mission, vision, uh, Pantakit, uh, or the, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, vision and mission, swimming, uh, uh, and uh, is that the same as the competency? You tell me. If I give you a project, you tell me. So this is, this is, this is an example that it both can be the same. That is what I'm trying to tell you that 
nothing, everything is different when you when you make it different. Everything is the same when it's the same. Let me. That is the reasons why if you want to if you want to salute if you want to enlighten, you must do in a way that that you know your mind and whatever you do and whatever other things all the same. No argument. No argument. You don't say, oh, this is red color. This is a blue color. This is a yellow color. This is orange color. And I don't like you. You you are yellow. I am orange. I hate you. I hate you. So this person and this person against each other. But in fact, they're all the same. Why? Because it's all mind. It's all human being. The world is created by the mind. The mind's created the man. And the mind is all the same. Kile, kile, right? Your kile, your kilesa, your greed, your greed, your desire, your desire, your hatred, your hatred, your delusion, your delusion. What is opposite to delusion? Knowledge, 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 knowledge. What is greed? What is the desire? Your, your attitude, your attitude of hatred. So your competency, hatred, delusion, and greed is all about what? Your, your behavior, your competency, your psychology, all the same. Your goal, your direction, your creativity, all the same. This is what this means. This is called spiritual competency. Spiritual competency. Okay? So again... We will, if I, if we have the time, and if you, you know, if you are master degree students and PhD student, we can take a long time and slowly, slowly talk about it. And uh, sometime with, uh, uh, I have the opportunity to uh, discuss and deliver the keynote speech to uh, international uh, conferences on uh, spiritual uh, competencies. Uh, uh, so, uh, but on this class, uh, we don't have sufficient time. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Uh, this is what uh, uh, things are all about. The attitude of innovation is directly or indirectly at the most important level that pursues the company to hate with a passionate attitude, mission, theme. Okay, Nike is one of them. Another one of them, Nike, right? You are you wear Nikes. You 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 you're doing everything an athlete is able to do. You, you create your own future. So what happened? So your, your ability, your competencies, what you do with your competency, you influence people. You influence people what? Cognitively through your idea. You influence people what? Emotionally to touch on your heart. When people touch on your heart, they buy your product. Effective emotion. So what is the what is the utility? What is the value? What is the objective? What is the goal of competency? Influence you, influence your heart, influence your mind, influence your money. So you give me money, you give me your heart, you give me your mind. So I have brain trust from you. I have brain trust from you and I have brain trust from you. Okay, so I hope that, uh, you know, uh, a project that I ask you to do a uh, minimally be very easy. Focus, 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 input, process, output, input, process, output. I give you a problem, you make your competency and deliver the output. If you do that, you get B or B plus. Simple. If you want to get A, Make it different from other people. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, very very easy, and, and and these trees are actually the same as competitive strategy, because you hold a very important position uniquely in the industries and in your market and in the systems of the operations or in the world. Okay, so any difference between competency and competitive strategy? No. They're the same. Any difference between this and business strategy? No. 
It's the same business strategy, business, business research. What is, is that different between business research? It's the same business research takes in the data and then to go into the research processes and then generate the output. Okay, so this is a, a very, 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 we have another 30 minutes. Uh, uh, we have another 30 minutes. Uh, okay, so I, I, uh, I have just given you the updated uh, versions of this, uh, of this slide and I, because uh, I already are talking about innovations and innovations competencies, I already demonstrated through the missions of couple of the importance uniquely A class uh, uh, companies. And I would therefore uh, want to jump to uh, page 842. Eight hundred forty-two, and uh, and uh, and I want you to uh, to uh, uh, because we have only about thirty minutes, and it's not going to fin finish it. And so I want you to go to page eight uh, 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 hundred forty-three, eight hundred forty-three, and uh, and and uh, read it. Okay, uh, uh, you know, if I not yet finished, uh, we will continue later. Okay, so if, if I'm not yet finished, I will not, I will give you, um, you know, other types of uh, uh, assignments that is, uh, there is uh, more um, uh, thinking oriented because I was thinking of giving you a project on innovation, uh, uh, asking you to uh, um, um, uh, be innovative and give me an innovative product. Uh, uh, but uh, but we don't have the sufficient time because uh, because I don't want you to get uh, 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 too boring, uh, you know, staying too long because the brain is, is not working. So it's not useful at all. So I'll give you a couple of uh, uh, connections uh, into understanding on the uh, innovative intelligence competence. Okay, and, and, and then we stopped at uh, uh, in a, a, about 30 minutes or so or less. Okay, innovative intelligence competences. This is what I want you to develop. I want you to master innovative intelligence competences. And bear in mind uh, that uh, you already have understood that intelligence is very important because intelligence makes things happen. And of, of course, if you do it in an ethically, morally correct manner, the intelligence is gonna deliver a tremendous benefit to the world, okay? And, and intelligence itself, the process itself, uh, it's, it's a competency uh, that you have to master. And the more you master your intelligence process, the more you become intelligence, which is the output. And the more intelligence you have, the more competitive advantage or competitiveness that you can deliver. So meaning you can do a lot more jobs, okay? And be creative. And that is the intelligence, okay? So this intelligence is slightly different from other types of intelligence. It's a little bit more innovative, okay? Now, innovative intelligence, if you refer to a book on the Wales and uh, Lake, Lake Hunt, uh, 2011, I talk about innovative intelligence, and I would just uh, capture, uh, you know, need to read the books, uh, I'll summarize it for you. And there are three primary intelligence that are very important for a leader to master. So and, and, and when you master it again and again, it creates a skill. That is way and how competencies comes into the picture. And when you, when you bring in the attitude, you bring in the personal touch. So it is not only the knowledge and intelligence, but also the attitude and your skills that you develop. So we are actually doing more than what this book is doing. This book is talking about knowledge, intelligence, but we are talking about knowledge, intelligence, but skill plus the attitude. And we can do a lot of things on attitude. I don't have enough time to ask you. Okay, um, well, maybe I will, maybe I'll do a homework uh, since we're already, maybe our, 
I will come up with homework tonight, this evening, to give you uh, work on uh, work on uh, you know this uh, attitude. Okay, <laughs> work on uh, uh, how do you create the skill? Okay, uh, so things like that. Maybe oh, I'll think about it, then I'll give you uh, uh, some additional homework. Okay, plus plus uh, one more homework uh, because uh, because I always take the homework for you to uh, uh, you know to brainstorm and to read. Uh, in case that you don't read, so I also provide sufficient, uh, you know, one article for you to read and, and to work on, plus plus additional practical problem. So innovative intelligence, the pri three primary intelligence, one of them is innovative intelligence, the second one is the emotional intelligence, and the third one is the analytical intelligence. So your ability, your analytical intelligence is your ability to digest and reflect on the problem, understand the characteristics of the problem, which is understand your strength, understand your weaknesses, understand the opportunity, understand the threat, and ability to do, ability to, to make use of that and turn into an idea. Easy or not easy? Not easy. Everybody, you know, if I, and all of you every day, every semester, I see you guys SWOT, 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 swap analysis, swap analysis. But every time when I look at your swap analysis, nothing. That means what? That means that you have to work on more to create intelligence, analytical intelligence. It's not a straightforward. What is the attitude that you need for analytical intelligence to become happening? And what kind of skill that you need? To, how do you develop in order to make it into a skill? So and apply logic to problem solving situations that are extensions of problem solving in the past. And, and, and extension to problem solving is very important because, because the world is uncertain world. So we are in a business that is uncertain. Uh, we are in a business that, uh, that is volatile. Uh, it could be volatile in the sense that the comp company, uh, the customer's preferences change all the times. And so it is nothing staying still and it's just keep on you know, changing and sometimes different things and things like that. So it's a, a very volatile, uncertain complexities. Sometimes we too many data and too many things we cannot handle. So we need artificial intelligence, neural networks and things like that. And, 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 and all this issue uh, becomes the, make the world very uncertain and very complex and very volatile. And, and therefore, you need to have the intelligence to be able to deal with all this complexity so that you can extend from one problem to another problem. And so uh, mechanistically, transactionally, you can use knowledge management, you can manage your knowledge, you can use, um, you know, put into crowd systems and then let the artificial in intelligence, you know, run the system because your know, knowledge management has, uh, you know, uh, as uh, people has already, already done a lot of research and already put into packages, you can buy the customer relationship management, you can buy uh, you know, customer relationship management, CRM is part of the knowledge management, but, with, but many people, invest money on CRM, 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 still not able to make the company, make the customers happy. You know why? Because you have a lot of knowledge, but you do not make a relationship. You do not know which one is the right way to make a relationship, the cost chemical reaction. You do not know what kind of relationship. Is it this relationship or is it this relationship? You have no idea. You have no, you have no idea. Why is that so? Because you do not have intelligence. You only have knowledge, 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 knowledge. Knowledge management fail. Artificial the CRM fail. You have a CRM in business model. Business model can have a CRM, CRM. Did you really know how to use it? Well, if you know how to use it, that is the competency, business competency, intelligence, analytical intelligence, so that you can use the CRM. This is where the artificial intelligence come into the picture. Okay, so I can say, well, uh, Siri, uh, uh, can you please go into, can you please uh, get connected? You know, I'm talking to my my company, uh, Siri uh, is an iPhone, 
but uh, I can say, uh, excuse me, can you please uh, uh, talk to my phone? Okay, I'm not talking to people. I'm talking to my phone. I said, can you please, uh, uh, can you please uh, get into my computer, the, our company's uh, database, and uh, um, uh, tell me how the, I supposed how I can. Uh, I know, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I have a project. So I have a, I have a, I have a, a contractors projects to close, and I'm not so sure how to close and successfully 100. Could you please get into my the computer database to uh, and suggest uh, how I, uh, I'm gonna uh, how I can do it? Uh, I, I have a meeting tonight with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, investors. Um, uh, so thank you. And then to see it. So one second later. So well, thank you very much. And I already have uh, sent you the planning. I have already sent you the actions and uh, uh, in the five notes, uh, five sentences, and uh, uh, you will be hundred percent able to win the contract. CRM, intelligence, analytical intelligence. So again. Uh, uh, this uh, elective is very important in the sense that uh, it generates, uh, gives you and gets you the ideas to be in intelligence. Okay, and, and, and this kind of thing is not taught in the class. I mean, not 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 taught in the textbook. So you cannot easily find this kind of text uh, textbook. So there's no textbooks on in competency, uh, you know, business competence or business competencies. If there's no textbooks on comparative strategies, a lot of textbook on strategy management, but not much on uh, usefulness on the or contains on that particular uh, elective. Emotional intelligence I already uh, taught you and it's not straightforward, it's not easy. Okay, how do you influence me and how do you influence others? Know me, know you. Sun zi bing fa, sun zi out of war, right? If you want to win the battle, know you, know me. Know you and know me. And and no, you know me not in no no not knowing this only is beyond Sun Tzu. Uh, it, uh, Sun Tzu Bing Fa is correct, but it's not only at the cognitive cognitive level; it's at the emotional level. How do you know the feeling of you? How do you know the feeling of me? So if I want to make you work on this project, I have to know the feeling of you. I have to touch your heart. I have to know where is your heart. I have to know whether your heart is stable now or like this or, you know, or dum, 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 right? So emotional intelligence give uh, govern self-knowledge and, and self and, 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 uh, and, and is, uh, has to be adapted in knowing other people's feelings as well as your own feeling. That's why sati, you took more. Sati, mindfulness. Mindfulness, oh, now I, have, I am mindful that my emotion is not so good. I am mindful that I am sad. Oh, uh, I feel that or I am mindful that I that uh, that I feel that she, he or she is not really happy with me or in one sense or another. These are all what awareness, emotional intelligence. Okay, innovative intelligence is just to come up with the uh, the, uh, the innovative solution. So you got to come up with innovative solutions, two things that you have to master. One of them is do you really master your problem? And have you, uh, are you able to go through the processes? Okay, which is I just told you the, you know, the, the input process outputs with the uh, three uh, uh, triangles of success and, and, and demonstrating the solution, right? Demonstrating your solutions for solving and get the competitive advantages. Okay, so two components of innovative intelligence that important is problem solving, which is the Problem insight, not the problems itself. How do you understand the problem? Can you transcend the problem? Can you look at the problem from different angle? Can you look from, from this angle, from this angle, from this angle? If you look from this angle, there's no problem. If you look from this angle, there is a problem. Or maybe problem is, is no problem, is opportunity, right? Okay, so, so if you solve problem, your solution will be like a problem. But if you turn it into opportunity, your solutions will be opportunity. Your solution is solving a problem is cost minimization. 
solving a, a problem and turn it into opportunity. It's money, money, market, market, market. Opportunity is revenue, 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 revenue. Got problems, reduction, cost reductions, cost reduction. Which one would you want to go? Value or cost? Value to cost. Market or cost? Market or cost? Revenue to cost? Revenue to cost? That is your top line and this is your bottom line. Which one do you want to go? Innovation. That is innovative intelligence. I, I also need to teach, I, I know the way, uh, but I also need a lot, of, uh, a lot of thinking and I need a lot of brainstorming is not easy. I can tell you a lot of things because I work in the companies before and I work in many different types of project from sophisticated engineering projects with US Navy to the, uh, to the robotic controls in uh, Australians and also to the, uh, soft, uh, the whole automated uh, process uh, of the uh, diversified uh, industries. Uh, from, from the automobile assembly to air conditioning assembly, you can design to fiber board uh, productions to, uh, to the banking and hotels and to, uh, to the shrimp uh, and seafood production uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and things like that. So, but again, it doesn't mean I, I can do so many things, but I can lead. I can lead, leader, okay? And so this uh, uh, it's a very, very important. Okay, so this uh, innovative intelligence, uh, ethical intelligence, emotional intelligence is very, 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 very important. Okay, so again, uh, you know, do, uh, we have a couple more minutes uh, left. Do not need to, uh, uh, you know, uh, worry. Uh, things are never ending, you know, to, you know, uh, we can talk and talk and talk and talk and uh, uh, no meanings that I give you all the digestions in three hours because uh, even one page I can talk for three hours so there is no no meaning in in the number of pages. It is the quality, 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 right? And and it's not the it's not the it's just the way I spoke to you the max uh, import that is important to you. It is what is doing, what are you doing with your projects and add on to your online. That is more important. My, my teaching here, my facilitations here, my coaching here, my sharing right here with you is not, nothing. No importance. You only need to stimulate your thoughts, stimulate your emotion, stimulate your feeling, stimulate your behavior, stimulate your, your understanding. I am only an input to your process, knowledge. I will, I can, I will do, I, I'm, I've done it. It's you, not me. Leaders are accountable for maximizing the access to and use of the full potentials of your innovative intelligence. So you, uh, so you got the, you know, every employee has a lot of potential. And this potential, if you do not know how to use that potential, you are not returning on a set. So let me ask you a question. You have studied human resource management. You have studied organizations development. You have studied probably HRD. You have studied a lot of other things. And have you really, really, really looked seriously? I mean, you study also the financial cash flow. Financial statements and you run the financial analysis model. Then this RI or RA. And uh, have you really looked seriously on our ROA or ROI? Competency is your ascent, yes or no? Yes. Business competency is your ascent, yes. Skill is your ascent, yes. Knowledge is your ascent, yes. Attitude is your ascent, yes. Have you really ROI all this ascent? No. In what way? No idea. Innovatively, even worse. Just this sentence, it's already can, you know, a lot of things. So again, the projects, uh, you don't have the time to do a lot of projects. I just want to give you some idea, you know, one thing to help you further your understanding because uh, because the time is limited. So I will try to give you a project that allow you also to add additional knowledge. 
and so uh, so that you are not learning from my class also you are learning from other people okay so this is uh, so many things that i that i say here i i'm I, i'm not able to give you the projects but i will uh, instead uh, when i give you the project uh, these are these are the things that will make you get a in the class so if you want to get a in the class demonstrate it to me that you really 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 roi to the maximum that means that means you're being different from, from other people. You're, you're, you're coming up with strategies and competencies that are different from other people. So leaders are accountable for maximizing their sense too. You have the ability to assess, means we have ability to influence the attitude of people. Right? Assess, counting, counting align, counting, assess, assess, counting, counting align, counting, kun. Right? Assess to people. Easy? No. To assess to people, you have to influence their attitude. They have to assess to the attitude, full potential. Uh, they have a lot of knowledge. Have you utilized all the knowledge? This guy has the knowledge. That guy has the knowledge. Another guy has the knowledge. Have you utilized this knowledge? Okay. Very few organizations have master this okay and even invested their leaders to build their leaders to have this competency needing to to build the leaders to have this innovative intelligence competency okay this is very also very few organized focus on the development of integrating and how do you integrate this tree right you have innovative analytical innovative intelligence you have the uh, you know emotional issues and you have the other types of intelligence and how do you integrate all these three together you know the uh, this is also not straightforward right okay so if you can do that then it turns into holistic leaders leaders also need to be aware uh, of the impact of this intelligence to to achieve something which is your output so you have to aware of your input you have to aware of your process you have to aware of your I'll put you have to aware of your environment, climate. Okay, so you can see that everything I am teaching you in the different things is all the same like this one. Right? It's all the same. Uh, the long time ago, I teach you the input process output. It's all the same. Right? So no matter how I, you know, jumping up and down, go from here to there, or this or this class with you, psychological or social psychology or, or, or philosophy or business ethics or corporate governance systems or, or strategy management or organization developments or human resources developments, all the same. Different, different languages is only to tell you the different expertise or knowledge the shape of that particular, the contents of that particular understanding. But the communication and my heart and my understanding is the same. Right? my mind wouldn't wire. Right? Your mind is not confused. Not if you if you say HRD and HRM and strategic management and competitive strategies are all different, chit man wouldn't wire. Your mind is going to be very, very complicated and confused. But if all is the same, your mind is very, very pure. Only one, right? Being one, being one, being one, being one, right? I mean, Ben Leng, right? Okay, so uh, just uh, just to demonstrate just now, we talk about, uh, and, and, and then uh, we, we, we almost uh, finished a couple of uh, more minutes, 10 minutes or five minutes. And so problem insight is very important. As I already talked to you, the innovative intelligence depends on the problem insight, which is your understanding about the problem. And uh, but just want to draw particular attention that your problem has both internally internal issue and external issues. The problems occurs when a problem occurs when when there is this and this interact. Right? It allow me panha. When our mind has a problem, because when we quan sam pan prachen ka kang no, when we experience and encounters others, we our mind has a problem because it only has a problem. It only show the problem when we pattern, when we experience and encountering with outside world. When if we if we if you say you tatsalu, if you say you already enlightened, how do you know? Very easy. You go and bring in an external environment, and if you still 
connect and has chemical reaction. That means you have not yet enlightened. Yang mai tatsalu. So, problem inside has four issue. Okay. And again, it's your daily life, right? So, when I ask you, when I give you a problem, have you looked at every problem I give to you in depth? Because your problem has four things. Right? Are you sure you really know your problem inside? So problem inside you, inside within an issue, inside outside an issue, inside before an issue happened, inside after the issue has happened. And I give you an example. Before an issue happened, if you really know it, you can use marketing strategy. After the things that happened, you can use service recovery. After in outside an issue, maybe opportunity, maybe resources, maybe threat. Okay, within an issue, competency. So these are the strategy, right? Strategies that you can suggest, right? Example. Okay. So I see. I just want to give you an example and right? motivate you to see things in a strategic sense, to see things in a competent sense. So leader inside within an issue, leader think through the unique complexities of the problems in order to understand. I right? oh blah, 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 blah. so 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 at the end of the day you can solve the problem, right? You understand it and you know how to take it. In. That is your competency. The strategy is you will develop competency. And again, for other issues, I already demonstrated uh, marketing strategy, right? So solution discovery. There are two, uh, two uh, when you want to arrive at the solutions of the problem, there are, there are two things, okay? Uh, usually when you involve with a strategy, um, a competency strategy, so if, how do you, so your one of the intelligence in uh, innovation is that you not only need uh, innovation, uh, intelligence in uh, competencies in those problems area, but also you need to have solution, which is diversification, divergence and convergence. So you need to diverge your ideas and then converge your idea so that you have competitive advantage. Okay. And, and, and so you know, you know, you, you know which one you want to invest, right? right? So this is discovery through divergence and discovery through convergence. Best fit solution to solve your problem that you can invest on visible. Right, you can produce it visible, right? Viable. The market allows it. The market allow it. The market allow it. Desirable. Your money, money, money can return, 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 return. Desirable, feasible, viable. Why well, you already study? You already have studied many, 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 many times in your entrepreneurship classes or in your startup or in your new ventures or in your competition, feasibility, viability, desirabilities. It's all about divergence. It's all about convergence. Okay, so, uh, and it's no difference from theory and data. You diverge from, you have a lot of data, you diverge, and you know, try you know, if you have a lot of data, so it's a, and then you try to look at all the data by listening. I listen to the customer's requirements. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm talking to the customers. I am observing the customers, and I am feeling the customers. I feel your pain. I listen to your emotion, and then you know all these pain points. You know, all these the same, right? Is this all the new terms, but actually it's all the same. I don't care about all these new terms, but it's all the same. And, and then you diverge, create a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas, a lot of theories, and then you converge. You try to take on only a couple of theories and, and test it, hypothesis, test it, convergence, where it work, where it work, where it gave me, where it gave me the return. How confident am I? That is your, that is your intelligence. If you don't have intelligence, your conversion is not lesser strength, lesser being. If you will be just, you know, um, do this, do that, do this, do that. Okay, so convergence, divergence, convergence, divergence is the process of business strategy. So you start from understanding a problem Understanding the issue, understanding before the problems had the rise, understanding the problems had the rise, understanding outside the problem, 
and then observe every single thing until you can define the characteristics of the problem, create a lot of ideas, and then you converge with prototype. And then you test it immediately to the market before you have mass scale. And so uh, during the process of ideations, again, again, you can go through brainstorming, you then prototyping it, and then you test it, and then you can refine it. So there is an iteration in your ideation. That is called what? That is called lean startup. Lean startup. Lean startup. Lean startup. We were, I will ask you to do next time. Uh, not today. Uh, next time when I teach you, then I will... I'll ask you to do a lean startup, lean startup, lean startup, lean startup, lean startup, which you can see uh, from the uh, from this uh, uh, these two cards. Uh, we will talk about it later, and, and then you will do some exercises on that. Uh, uh, okay. So again, so innovation. This is the last page. I'm not gonna go through. Uh, before, I'm not gonna. Oh, uh, this is the last two pages. Uh, and and so we will stop today's. What I teach you today, competency. Okay, skill, knowledge, attitude, input, process, output, environment. All you need to master. And then making it happen, connecting to the business, that is your business competence. More than competency. Competency is very detailed, but and, and you master it. But competence is just a broad sense of, um, I have the ability to do this. I have the ability to always create new business idea. I have the ability to innovate that we call competence. So innovations, competence, innovations, competence, innovations, competence, innovations, competence, things like that. Okay, so uh, that is, uh, we have already uh, talked about it. And intelligence is one of the competence. And uh, so, uh, Idea, innovation spreads the most important elements in generating competitive advantage, which is competitive. The, uh, the requirement, the, the goal of competitive strategy is to create competitive advantages. And innovation is the resources. Innovation is not only the resources, innovation is the process, is the process of making the resources happening. You have a lot of resources of people, you have a lot of resources of affiliation, you have the resources of technology, integrating them became, becomes an innovation to make it happen to create the competitive advantage, okay? So uh, if you innovate the competency or the competence or the capability to deal with uncertain world or the capability to make it happen, uh, uh, to innovate uh, delivers the competitive advantage. Okay, so innovation as a competence, that next to the, it's a broader sense, so not the detailed competency sense, okay? In a broader sense. In a broader sense, we use the terms competence. In the detailed sense, we use competency, okay? I am competence, I have this competency, I have that competency, but in the competence sense, it's a broader sense, in a higher hierarchical sense, in a business sense, in a broader sense, okay? So it's the same thing, but in a broader sense. Innovation as competence uh, involves two things. Okay, and all the things I've just discussed with you, but you can separate it into two simple things. One is your fresh thinking. And another one is making things happen. Money, 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 money. So innovation is not only about, it's about creativity and it's about what? Commercialization. Attitude, your skill and knowledge and your creativity, okay? Creativity. So, so these are the competence and the detail is called, you can do it in competency, 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 or creativity. But, the, the, but when you go to higher level, higher level on businesses, we call competence. Okay. So, uh, innovation is competence. Okay. Okay. And so, innovation uh, is, uh, uh, is the, uh, is your, a capability of a company to uh, to be able to tap on the opportunity and turn it into money, 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 money through creativity. Okay. Okay. So we will uh, 